Thank you, Mr. Akash. Now over to our president of WBFI, uh, Mr. Sujit. Sujit, sir, you're on mute. Good evening to all of you. It's actually, we are very thankful to ICRC for being here and Navid and Charu and all being very helpful with uh, the actions that, with the things that we are doing here. And we are also very privileged to welcome Mr. Taufik to this meeting. And uh, I'm sure all of us will be very enriched by the uh, conversations and discussions that we'll have today. And I hope everybody's taking care of their COVID uh, and uh, managing it properly. And I hope all, I wish you all the best and wish you all safe health and safety during this time. I just hand you over to Lee. Okay, before we start, one more thing. Uh, we'll have Captain Lewis sir, translating in Hindi. And uh, remember, you all have been chosen so that you guys can help the Federation in the future. Uh, you are coaches and you are the referees. And we trust in you. And that's why you guys are here. So we, we expect that you guys attend, understand, and help your state teams grow and your neighboring states also. Okay, now I'm going to hand it over to Mr. Taufik. And we're going to have a wonderful session. Thank you, Mr. Taufik. Over to you. Okay. Hi, guys. Hi, everybody. Uh, for those that I know, uh, missed you. For the, one, the ones I'm meeting now, I will see you soon, I hope. I got my two vaccines, so I'm ready. I'll be ready like in 24 days to risk my life and go everywhere. So get ready for it. Okay. For the one who attended to my uh, coaching clinic, they know that uh, I'm a tough guy. But who knows me? I'm a classifier. I'm even tougher guy. So... No worries. Okay, so listen, uh, we will do like a, a brief introduction uh, for uh, so you guys, uh, uh, coaches and referees, uh, for coaches to be able to recognize the main classes, which is one, two, three, four, and four fives, and uh, for the referees the same, and for you guys to understand what is our philosophy, what is our approach. Note that uh, many things will change very soon due to the application of the IPC code that we are uh, changing a lot of stuff uh, in our um, curriculum and, uh, and uh, constitution and uh, classification um, regulations, uh, but you'll be up updated uh, through uh, WFI all the time. Uh, I'm very happy to meet you, uh, Mr. President uh, Sujit. Uh, this is the first time. And um, I know that uh, Madhavi was so happy and uh, she announced it and it will be great work. So we are looking forward to make you work as much as we can. So prepare to sweat. Okay, sir. I'll just translate, sir. Little bit. Okay. Please, go ahead. Okay. Good evening, Loga. Abhi Topic, sir, ne bola hai ki basic introduction karenge. और जो क्लासिफिकेशन कोड्स वगैरह बताएंगे आज और इसमें शायद कुछ चेंज हो सकता है क्योंकि इंटरनेशनल पैरालंपिक कमेटी आईपीसी कुछ चेंजेस करेंगे और वो जो भी चेंजेस जब आएंगे आप सबको अपडेट किया जाएगा तो आज थोड़ा बेसिक होगा रेफरीज और कोचेस के लिए यस सर ओके सो देयर विल बी ए इंटरेक्शन सो प्लीज व्हेन आई आस्क यू अ क्वेश्चन फील फ्री टू अनम्यूट योरसेल्फ and tell me what you think and answer my questions so we can be have like a, a dialect and learn from each other because any any learning process is a mutual learning i'll be learning from you and you'll be learning from me as much as we can because with all the years of experience you have i am sure that you have a lot to say and a lot to teach me so let's do that okay so i'll be switching from sharing screen to face to face, uh, it, will, it will be quick. Uh, so let's start now. Can I share a screen? Can you make me host? You are Delphic, you are co-host, you can do it. I am co-host. I don't see the share screen. How about now? Can you see that? No. Okay, now I get it. Do you see it? 
Yeah, it's loading, it's loading. It's just getting started. It will come. Yeah, it is. Okay, so uh, this is the IWBF, um, brief introduction to the IWBF functional classification system for coaches uh, for of uh, WFI. Um, Perfect. This uh, is sorry. sorry to interrupt, like I guess your screen uh, you're showing is your uh, presenter screen. We need to switch it to like a... Showing what? It's showing the presenter screen or the editable screen. It's not showing the presentation screen. Okay, let me try again. Oh, sorry, am I still here? Yeah. Okay, let me see what I can do. Okay, screen share has stopped. Okay, let me share. And then uh, screen share, it should work. Yeah, I'm still looking for screen share. I can't find it. Akash, okay. don't you think it will lead on a slideshow? Yeah, then, I, uh, I, I, what I, I device cannot, is that? What device are you using? It? Like it, it's, a it's, a, it's a laptop. Or? It's a laptop. It's a window. So there should be a share screen uh, thing in the center, in the green color. Or uh, uh, can you use all tests? Oh, yeah. All now, tests. Uh, now, now I got it. Now it appeared. Great. Okay. Fine. Okay, let me open the, A bit slow, so Okay, in the meantime, I would like to welcome the coaches from uh, Nepal. Uh, they are part of the ICRC group. So welcome coaches from Nepal. Thank you so much for joining in. Uh, I hope who, you all... who are the coaches from Nepal? Okay, I think. Is it okay now? Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so this is a brief introduction to the uh, IWF uh, factor system uh, for coaches of the WFI. So my first question to you guys, what do you know about classification in sports? You can answer me whatever you think. This is question for everybody. Everybody can answer. Question here hai ki classification system kyu hai sports mein? Why? Kyu hai? Aap log koi bhi answer kar sakte hai. Unmute karke answer kar sakte hai. Uh, hi, Professor. This is Chandra here. Uh, in my opinion, uh, classification is uh, a system uh, in place to provide equal opportunities to people with uh, different levels of disabilities. To play sports. Okay. Anybody else? It's very important. Sorry, sorry. Okay, go ahead. I no? said uh, the, the gradation according to uh, physical. Um, I mean, like uh, according to physical and skills wise. Okay. Thank you. To give, chance to, to give chance to the lower classification players also. Okay. Everyone? Uh, hello. I think uh, 
हेलो 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 गेम राइट इज फॉर एवरीवन फॉर राइट टू प्ले सो क्लासिफिकेशन इज मस्ट इंपोर्टेंट फॉर दिस एवरी स्पोर्ट्स एवरी स्पोर्ट्स या हेलो सो मच इंपोर्टेंट ओके मोहन गो अहेड Okay, um, Pereira, you are on mute. Coach Pereira, you are on mute. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you said it's important for every sport. Yeah. Which which sports discipline? Para para discipline, especially in para. Okay, para para disciplines. Yeah. Okay, who else? Okay, let me ask. Uh, are you? Yeah, are you? Yeah, coach. Yeah, it is giving. Yeah, it is giving you equal importance for the players of the same like to classify them based on their physical capability or dis like disability, so that they can compete against each other in the higher stages of the game. Okay, thank you, Sayu. Okay, let me ask you this now. Only uh, for people with disability. we apply classification this is only for people who has disabilities so let me ask you this now when was the last time a woman played with the uh, team uh, men team and the finals in basketball when when did you see a woman playing with men team in basketball in the world championship have you ever seen it kya aap log kisi ne women ko dekha hai ladies ko men's team mein khelte hue world championship ya olympics mein nobody never happened no sir never happened no sir why? Never. why never never why a woman doesn't play with the men team physical capacity because of physical capacity so yes, what, so what do you call that what do you call that classification Yeah. Uh, yes, we could say this classification. <laughs> okay. So, so what other uh, what other criteria of classification do we use in all sports? Gender, that, gender, uh, gender, gender. So, men, women. What else? Wait, my brother here. He's a doctor. He said, "Wait." Age wise. In which sport? In which sport Age wise. In judo, in in uh, in combat, combat sports, sports. Age wise, age wise. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Whatever noise, please un unmute yourself. So, we have weight, we have gender. What else? In some sports, uh, based on our uh, weight and all, like lightweight, middleweight in boxing and other uh, sports. In all combat sports, we have weight. what else so we have gender weight what else age 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 sure age because what a 13 years old person can do is much more than a 12 years old person can do and 10 and 9 because of the difference of the natural physical capacity okay so we don't put men with women and we don't put different ages uh, boys and girls at certain age can still play together because the natural physical capacity is the difference is very small so to a okay, certain sir, age i'll translate sir i'll just translate yeah go ahead sir uh, topic sir bol rahe hain ki world mein aap dekhoge to gender male female alag hai age ke hisab se khelte hain 
कुछ गेम्स में वेट के हिसाब से खेलते हैं और जो छोटे 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 एज है जैसे दस साल या उससे नीचे डेट में उसमें फिजिकल कैपेसिटी गर्ल्स और बॉयज का तकरीबन ठीक ही रहता है तो उसमें कोई प्रॉब्लम जब बड़े होते हैं तो फिजिकल कैपेसिटी डिफरेंस होता है तो स्ट्रेंथ डिफरेंस होता है इसलिए गर्ल्स बॉयज वीमेन मेन अलग होते हैं ओके सर ओके एनी क्वेश्चन इज इट क्लियर ओके सर लेट मी गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल इफ यू वॉच टेनिस even with the same category there is some differences if you look at women you look at martina hingis and serena williams serena williams is born with a man like strength she has much more physical capacity but she still plays against martina hingis who has less physical capacity natural like born with they both train a lot they both put a lot of work in it both but even with the same category sometimes people are born with more mm -hmm. strength they have this ability and and more so this is natural we don't look at it so when we classify we don't classify skills we classify functional abilities functional okay. physical abilities okay. not okay. skills okay go ahead uh सर सर बोल रहे हैं कि आप जब टेनिस देखते हो मटीना नवरतिलोवा मटीना हिंगिस सेरेना विलियम्स ये सब काफी स्ट्रॉन्ग प्लेयर्स है बट और उनके स्किल्स भी अच्छे हैं पर जब हम व्हील चेयर बास्केटबॉल वगैरह में क्लासीफाई करते हैं हम स्किल्स नहीं देखते हम उनके फिजिकल कैपेसिटी देखते हैं क्या डिफरेंस है तो फंक्शनल कैपेसिटी फंक्शनल का मतलब क्या काम कर सकता है स्किल्स नहीं देख रहे हम उनका जो अच्छे तरह खेल सकता है या नहीं खेल सकता वो नहीं देख रहे हम स्किल्स नहीं देख रहे हैं हम सिर्फ उनका फंक्शन देख रहे हैं कि कैसे वो काम कर सकते हैं उनके मसल्स कैसे काम करते हैं थैंक यू सो लेट्स मूव ऑन सो इन आवर सिस्टम दैट्स व्हाट वी से पर्पस ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन इज टू इंश्योर दैट द आउटकम ऑफ एनी गेम इज डायरेक्टली रिलेटेड to the athletic ability and skills of players and to ensure that all eligible players have an equal right and opportunity opportunity to be part of the team go ahead captain yeah so classification ka kya matlab hua ki koi bhi game mein jo players ke athletic ability hai jo kar sakte jo function kar sakte hain aur unka skill thoda bahut aur aur दूसरी बात यह है कि जो भी एलिजिबल है जो भी पार्ट लेने में एलिजिबल है उनको इक्वल चांस देना चाहिए इक्वल राइट्स अपॉर्चुनिटीज बोलते हैं इक्वल चांस देना चाहिए कि वो खेल सकते हैं टीम में ओके सो क्लासिफिकेशन इज टू इंश्योर दैट व्हेन ए टीम द प्लेयर्स ऑफ ए टीम ट्रेन्स एंड ट्रेन्स एंड गेट मोर स्किल्स एंड वर्क ऑन इट एंड वर्क एज अ टीम एंड दे हैव अ very good communication system and they have good offense system and defense system this is what give them advantage to win not because they have uh, more physical ability uh, because of different of 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 uh, disabilities and to ensure that every player whatever the class are they have equal right and opportunity so we give them the right and opportunity to be a real full member part of a team so they have their position they have their work they have their um how to say their input and so the classification system give them the right and opportunity to be an equal part in the team okay sir bol rahe hain ki practice karte time defense offense aur bahut practice karte hain aur apne skill badhate hain और क्लासिफिकेशन सिस्टम से ये होता है कि सभी प्लेयर्स को चांस मिलता है कि वो अपना टीम का हिस्सा बने जितना जो भी क्लासिफिकेशन हो उसे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता उन वो उनको टीम का हिस्सा बनने के लिए चांस मिलता है इक्वल चांस मिलता है कि वो टीम में खेल सकता है ओके सो लेट्स डू लाइक अ स्मॉल एक्सपीरियंस फॉर एवरीबॉडी सो दे कैन फील व्हाट वी टॉकिंग अबाउट आर यू ऑल सिटिंग ऑन द चेयर्स I know that Coach Pereira is sitting on a wheelchair. 
I'm talking about everybody else. Is everybody sitting on the chair? Sabhi log kursi pe baithe hai na? Sabhi log kursi pe baithe hai na? Chair pe? Okay. So I would like you to take something in your hands, a pen, um, a, a notebook, anything. Okay. Like take it with two hands and put it as far as you can. Lay it down on the floor in front of you. आपके हाथ में कुछ भी लेके आप अपने हाथ में कुछ भी लेके आप नीचे जमीन पे दोनों हाथ से रखो आगे ओके नाउ पिक इट अप एंड पुट इट अप 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 योर हेड विथ टू हैंड्स अभी उसको दोनों हाथ से उठाओ और सिर के ऊपर रखो एक्सेलेंट नाउ लेट्स पुट इट बैक Put it back on the floor. Put zameen pe rakho, opposite zameen pe rakho. Okay. Now take your feet off the floor. The feet shouldn't touch the floor. Take your feet, both feet, off the floor. Or apke pair abhi zameen pe nahi lagna chahiye. Jo able bodied hai, unke pair zameen pe nahi lagna chahiye. Baakiyon ka bhi pair zameen pe nahi lagna chahiye. And now go pick up the 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 object. अभी जो भी आपने नीचे रखा है उसको उठाओ दोनों हाथ से दोनों हाथ से उठाओ इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट है यस ओके है ओके गुड नाउ सेम थिंग टेक इट विथ टू हैंड्स एंड पुट इट एस फार एज यू कैन ऑन द राइट साइड अभी दाइने साइड में दोनों हाथ से नीचे ले जाओ और रखो नीचे Okay. Now, um, take your right leg off the floor. Abhi dhaina pair upar karo, jamin se upar karo, and go pick it up. Abhi jaake with both hands. Yes. Abhi dono hands se utha lo usko. It's not easy, huh? I can now put it on the left side. Abhi left side me rakho. Left side me. Niche. Okay. Okay. Now take both legs off the floor, and your back should not touch the backrest. Abhi dono pair upar rakho, zameen se, aur back piche rest pe nahi lagna chahiye. Dono pair upar aur abhi utha usko. And go pick it up. Side say, almost, almost impossible, eh? So now everybody knows that when you are losing a lower member, you have difficulties to pick up things from the floor. You have difficulties to go outside your um, uh, center of gravity. Okay, outside your cylinder, the cylinder. is something imaginary that is as big as your body body go ahead uh, captain yeah abhi aapko pata chal gaya ki aap jo apne wo cylinder hai uske andar se jab pair upar rakhte hai pair niche rakhte hai to imbalance hote hai aur aapko uthane mein takleef hota hai usko center of gravity bolte hain to jab wo shift hota hai aapke pair upar rakhte hai ya ek side mein shift hota hai to मुश्किल हो जाता है बैलेंस थोड़ा मुश्किल हो जाता है एग्जैक्टलीके बहुत मुश्किल यस सर व्हेन व्हेन यू हैव वन लेग इट्स अ बिट डिफिकल्ट नाउ इफ यू डोंट हैव द मसल्स इन द वेस्ट इट बिकम्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट ओके जब आपके पास एक पैर नहीं है तो मुश्किल है जब आपके पास दोनों पैर नहीं है तो और भी मुश्किल है और जब आपके मसल्स में स्ट्रेंथ नहीं है तो बिल्कुल ही मुश्किल है ओके क्वेश्चंस? एनी क्वेश्चंस? क्वेश्चन है किसी को कोई क्वेश्चंस है 
Okay, so our philosophy, the IWBF function system philosophy is players must be classified on their own basketball chairs on the floor. We don't classify players outside the basketball. We don't classify them in rooms, closed rooms. The classification happens on the basketball court, on the basketball chairs. Classification, jo karaja karte hai, international classifiers, wo har player ko apne hi sports wheelchair pe baitna padega, aur wahi pe classify karte hai, aur ground mein classify karte hai. Wo kamre ke andar classify nahi karte, room ke andar classify nahi karte. Ground mein jab wo khelte hai, tab classify karte hai. Okay, so when we when we are classifying a team, we ask them to go and do drills on the on the court. So usually in a tournament, we have a classification training session. This training session is devoted to classification. So this is when we can ask the coach to have the players do uh, strong drills, fast drills. Uh, because sometimes the coach doesn't want them to work. Uh, so we make them, we explain to them that uh, this is a classification um, session and we would like him or her to do this drill or other drill or make them work or play a match, uh, something like that. So we can watch the players and to be able to give them the a, a proper assessment of their classification. क्लासिफिकेशन जो इंटरनेशनल क्लासिफायर्स हैं वो मैच के पहले एक दिन या दो दिन जो टूर्नामेंट में है वो क्लासिफिकेशन ट्रेनिंग सेशन होता है जहां पे क्लासिफायर्स कोचेस को बोलते हैं कि प्लीज अपने प्लेयर्स को खेलने बोलो वो उधर नाटक कुछ नहीं करने का अच्छी तरह खेलो ताकि वो करेक्ट असेसमेंट दे सकते हैं मैच के पहले कि आपके प्लेयर्स के क्लासिफिकेशन क्या है तो क्लासिफायर्स देखते हैं आपके प्लेयर्स कैसे खेल रहे हैं और उसके हिसाब से क्लासिफिकेशन पहले इनिशियल क्लासिफिकेशन करते हैं ओके सो एम एम व्हेन व्हेन वी गो वॉच देम ऑफ कोर्स वी आस्क देम टू वेयर देयर प्लेइंग नंबर्स सो वी कैन टेक नोट्स बिकॉज़ इफ द प्लेयर्स आर नॉट प्लेइंग द प्लेइंग नंबर्स वी वी विल लूज देम ऑन द फ्लोर वी कैन विल नॉट बी एबल टू फॉलो देम वी विल गेट मिक्स्ड अप so they have to come with their playing numbers on uh, to to this classification session jab classification training session hota hai agar kal match hai kal ya parso match hai to do din ya ek din pehle classification ka session hota hai training session jo classifiers aapko train karte hain par isme ek very important cheez hai ki aap jo chess number pehnte hain aapke chess number jo match mein aap khel rahe hain wohi chess number hona chahiye क्योंकि क्लासिफायर्स को आपका नाम नहीं मालूम आपको पहचानते नहीं इसलिए चेस नंबर शुड बी द सेम वही चेस नंबर होना चाहिए ओके सो व्हेन वी सेंड देम ऑन द फ्लोर दिस इज व्हाट यू वॉच सो व्हिच ऑफ बास्केटबॉल क्लासिफिकेशन इज बेस्ड बेस्ड ऑन द एथलीट्स फिजिकल कैपेसिटी टू एग्जीक्यूट फंडामेंटल बास्केटबॉल मूवमेंट वी वॉच फंडामेंटल बास्केटबॉल मूवमेंट वी डू नॉट वॉच all the movements mostly fundamental basketball movements that are related to pushing the chair breaking and pivoting dribbling the ball passing and catching the ball shooting and rebounding the ball and reaction to contact okay jo wheelchair basketball classification hai wo jo apne player ke physical capacity means wo kitna kar sakta hai जो फंडामेंटल सबसे बेसिक बास्केटबॉल के जो मूवमेंट्स है पुशिंग व्हील को पुश करना ब्रेक डालना ब्रेक करना हाथ से ब्रेक करना पिवटिंग मतलब घूमना ड्रिबल करना पास करना बॉल पकड़ना बॉल शूट करना बॉल रिबाउंड जैसे बोर्ड पे लग गया या रिंग पे लग गया बॉल वापस मिल गया और जब कोई आपको व्हील आपको कांटेक्ट करता है हिलता है तो आपका क्या रिएक्शन होता है आप कैसे रिएक्ट करते हो 
तो ये चीजें पुशिंग ब्रेकिंग ड्रिबलिंग पासिंग शूटिंग रिबाउंडिंग और रिएक्शन इसके हिसाब से क्लासीफाई करते हैं ओके सो वी सेट एंड वी कंसंट्रेट ऑन वन प्लेयर एंड व्हेन वी फिनिश विद वन प्लेयर वी मूव टू अनदर इफ दिस प्लेयर इज नॉट मूविंग वी कैन मूव टू अनदर प्लेयर बट वी नीड टू कंसंट्रेट ऑन द प्लेयर अंटिल वी हैव a clear idea about the classification of this player and we'll say this is what we see as first uh, classification we give the classification will be only be confirmed in a game so if we don't watch the player play in a strong game we don't confirm the classification okay so the classification will give in a training that's not the confirmed we only confirm the classification during a game when the player has played enough and a strong game we say okay this is his, this uh, classification is confirmed classification jo training session mein karte hain wo final nahi hai uske baad aur karenge kyunki kabhi kabhi players training session mein theek se nahi khelte hain to isliye क्लासिफिकेशन जो ट्रेनिंग क्लासिफिकेशन ट्रेनिंग सेशन है उसमें फाइनल नहीं है अंतिम नहीं है और जब एक्चुअल मैच खेलते हैं एक्चुअल गेम खेलते हैं उसके टाइम भी प्लेयर्स को देखते हैं पांच फोर नंबर फाइव नंबर क्या कैसे खेल रहे हैं उसके हिसाब से और उसका क्लासिफिकेशन चेंज हो सकता है ओके एनी क्वेश्चन Uh, how many players are classified at a time uh the whole team whole team and how many classifiers yes. do that uh usually um in an in international tournament there must be a panel of six okay uh, so okay so each we divide ourselves in teams of two and every two classifiers will go watch um Uh, one team that way uh, if there is any uh, um, uh, review of a player demand of a player other two can 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 see uh, him or her but usually in international tournament iwbf there must be six classifiers so two uh, two, two classifiers per team uh, yes we now we ask for each team to classify us to be present so we divide ourselves into teams of two and we 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 do a rotation on the teams yeah and do you classify uh, a same player in every tournament uh, okay i'll explain this uh, the the procedure is um we have new players and a few players and players that has been classified already so we start with the new players when we finish we go to the review request and watch this years and then what we finish with everybody we review all the players in the tournament just to make sure we haven't done a mistake in the past or the classification of a player has changed due to a surgery or due to a uh, sometimes goes get pregnant the um, um the muscles of the tummy muscles get weaker or any uh, degenerative um, disease uh, some some players lose um, uh, functional capacity so we make sure that everything is okay and then we look at the uh, all the pronunciation of the names we make sure that all the date of birth are correct and we change everything on the system and then we're happy and the tournament is over we're not okay. always happy but that's okay sorry one more question uh, you said the classification is confirmed in the game uh, yeah. so uh, during the match maybe the starting of the match how uh, should be like the player is classified like uh, that is a temporary classification because i have to put in 14 num- uh, 14 numbers of classification in the game right so uh, 14 points you can say so uh, how do you uh, maintain that means like uh, this is a temporary classification and this player is 1.5 and after the game he may might be one or two or whatever uh, so yeah so this is a coach's uh, 
nightmare all the time. <laughs> that's why that's why we encourage all countries, all nations, to have classifiers in their uh, certified classifiers in their country, so they can give you the closest possible proposal of, of a player. Um, in in um, eight years ago, when um, I I ran for the position of classification officer, my pledge was to have at least one zone in every country of the zone, one zone classifier in every country of the zone. I made it like 95%. There's still a couple of countries that don't have classifiers. Uh, but in, in, in India now, you have uh, a couple of them. And I think the best thing is to have a, classifi a classifier to look at your players and to sign the sheet of uh, that he have seen them or she have seen them. Uh, so you can go to a tournament with the closest possible. You know, um, and, and then you come with a proposal, proposed classification. We as classifiers, we will ask who watched these players and you will tell us this classifier, this classifier, and we will know how that, okay, this is a good point and we watch them. So in during the training session, you will have the um, uh, not confirmed classification if you want, because we need to these, because when they go in the game, yeah. they have to do all the movement they do. Right. They have to, so mostly if it is a competitive uh, game, that's why we say we need to watch them play a strong game before we cons uh, confirm. Because it happened in the past, uh, before the system, the regulation changed. Uh, we had to give somebody classification and they come in the tournament at age 13, 12, 14, and they proposed very low classification and they don't are not active during the training session. At the end of the tournament, we have to give them a classification and they come back two years later and we find out that they are not class one, they are class 3.5. Wow. So the regulation says that at that time, when a player comes with the international card, you cannot change his or her classification until after the tournament. Oh, okay. So now, if we haven't seen the player enough, we don't give them classification card and they stay new players. Okay. 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 Uh, thank you. Thank you. Now, Suvarna Madam, Coach Suvarna Madam, some questions were asked. How many players are classified? How many players are classified? So, Tofik Sir said that the whole team, when we do the training session, we classify the whole team. And they have about 6 classifiers. They divide the team in two teams. And they divide the team in two teams. And they divide the team in one team. And they take all the players. First, they take new players, who don't have the classification. New players. जिसका क्लासिफिकेशन हुआ नहीं है उसको लेते हैं उनको क्लासिफाई करते हैं उसके बाद ओल्ड प्लेयर्स को देखते हैं जो पहले भी क्लासिफाई हुआ है क्योंकि अगर किसी का फंक्शनल कैपेसिटी अच्छा हो गया किसी का मसल्स बढ़ गया या किसी का मसल्स कम हो गया है तो उसके हिसाब से देखते हैं क्योंकि क्लासिफिकेशन हर कंट्री में क्लासीफायर्स हैं जो तकरीबन क्लासीफाई करते हैं तो इंटरनेशनल क्लासीफायर्स को मालूम होता है कि तकरीबन कितना होना चाहिए क्लासीफिकेशन कभी कभी क्या होता है 12 इयर्स 13 इयर्स एज में क्लासिफाई करते हैं 12-13 साल में बच्चों को और जब वो दो तीन साल के बाद टूर्नामेंट के लिए आते हैं तो उनका स्ट्रेंथ उनका फिजिकल फिटनेस वगैरह बढ़ते हैं तो उनका क्लासिफिकेशन चेंज होता है तो ये प्रोसेस है पर जिसके पास इंटरनेशनल कार्ड होता है नॉर्मली टूर्नामेंट के बाद ही उसका अगर चेंज करना है तो चेंज करते हैं okay. Okay, let's keep going. So um, the IWF system compiles eight classes. You have a class one, one five, two, two five, three, three five, four, and four fives. So the lowest classes are assigned to players with the least physical capacity. The higher classes are assigned to players with the most physical capacity. On the court, the total of points assigned to each team member must not exceed 14 points. So the total 
of classification of the five players on the floor should not exceed 14 points. They could be 14 or less, but not more than 14. Captain, I'm very impressed with your capacity. You're classified 4.5 on translation. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Topic, sir, you are saying that classification, which is our Shreni current, is eight kinds of classification. One, two, three, four, or 1.5, 2.5, 3.5, 4.5, and the physical function, the body, the body, the body, the body, हाथ पैर हाथ वगैरह कम चलते हैं उनको सबसे कम पॉइंट दिया जाता है और जिस जिसका सबसे अच्छा चलता है फिजिकल कैपेसिटी जिसका फंक्शन सब अच्छा है जिस जिसका हाथ पांव अच्छी तरह काम करते हैं तो उसको ज्यादा पॉइंट देते हैं और जो ग्राउंड में जब पांच प्लेयर खेलते हैं उनका टोटल 14 पॉइंट होना चाहिए 14 पॉइंट्स 14 पॉइंट उससे ज्यादा नहीं हो सकता है 5 ऑन 5 बास्केटबॉल में ओके okay. So let, let me ask you as coaches, if you want to put combination of players, what will, of five players on the floor, what classes will you choose? Can you give me combinations of five players on the floor? Four, four, uh, three fours and uh, two ones, if we do have a good setup team. Yeah, it's a good setup. The, the Spanish team, played with this uh, combination for years and they were very strong they had, because they had two very good class ones. What else? Now if, now if not one more suggestion, like one more combination, like two fours and uh, three twos. Yeah, that, that will be a uh, questionable. Yep. Even the Iranian team, even the Iranian team in the Asia Oceana had three fours and two ones, women's team. Uh, yes, uh, no, they had the four five, uh, four four, and uh, let me remember, they had the four five, the four. How, how the and Indian then, team plays, what combination with Indian team plays? Uh, no, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Wait. I am saying that the classification, this is 4.5. We in India, 4.5 is very less. Or we are choosing four more. Then one is only one. We are always use only one player in the one tournament. That's why the uh, reason in Indian uh, system, there is later. 4.5, we don't use more than one or two. Okay. Yeah. So, Pereira sir, Pereira sir, बोल रहे हैं कि 4.5 के player हम ज़्यादा use नहीं करते क्योंकि हमारे lower classification player कम है. ये 1 1.5 हमारे पास ज़्यादा नहीं है इसलिए 4.5 ज़्यादा use नहीं कर सकते नहीं तो 14 points से ज़्यादा हो जाएगा. Okay, so the combinations are important. Like the Canadian played for a long time with 4-5, 4-5 with Joey Johnson and Patrick Anderson, and then uh, a Two five, uh, one and one five, I think, or two uh, and one and one. Uh, they played for a long time. They had very good class two, very good class one, and excellent two uh, four point fives with uh, Joey and and Patrick Anderson. Uh, so why is this question? Because when you choose your twelve players, you have to make sure that you have options that allows you to put, uh, like to say, solid combination on the floor. And in case you have an injury or a player with five fouls or a player on a bad day, you have a replacement. And you don't, don't fall in a situation when it becomes very hard for you to uh, put combination of 14 points on the floor. ओके सर ये बोल रहे हैं कि आप अपने जो 12 प्लेयर्स है 12 प्लेयर को अच्छी तरह सेलेक्ट करना है ताकि आपको हायर पॉइंटर्स भी होना चाहिए जैसे कनाडा का टीम है 4.5 4.5 2.5 1 1.5 14 पॉइंट्स पैट्रिक एंडरसन और एक और है जो 4.5 में है तो इसलिए आप जब टीम सेलेक्ट करते हो आपको देखना है कि आपके सब्स्टिट्यूट्स भी है जो रिप्लेस कर सकते हैं कोई इंजरी हो गया किसी को कोई बीमार हो गया किसी का किसी का अच्छा दिन नहीं है वो शूटिंग खराब है 
तो रिप्लेसमेंट के लिए भी आपके पास होना चाहिए सब्सिट्यूट अच्छे अच्छे क्लासिफिकेशन पॉइंट्स के तो आप जो 12 प्लेयर 12 प्लेयर सिलेक्ट करते हो तो आप कोच देखना चाहिए या सिलेक्शन कमेटी कि आपको हायर पॉइंटर्स और लोअर पॉइंटर्स दो, दोनों है ओके इज इट क्लियर दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर कोचेस ओके सो समटाइम्स you have really to let go some good players because of classification uh, complication and players will have to understand the, the situation okay kabhi kabhi kya hota hai aapke paas high pointer bahut acche honge do teen par aap sabko select nahi kar sakte wo aapka 14 points 14 point exceed ho jayega to kabhi kabhi indian team ya कोई भी टीम जापानीज टीम या कोरियन टीम कोई भी टीम में आई अच्छे प्लेयर गुड प्लेयर्स नॉट सेलेक्टेड बिकॉज चौदह पॉइंट के ऊपर आप जा ही नहीं सकते तो प्लेयर्स को ये सोचना चाहिए कि कोच ने टीम के लिए लिया है करेक्टली सेलेक्ट किया है पॉइंट के हिसाब से ओके सिस्टम The financial assistance classification uh, system was developed by Horst Rockhandel, who died um, about four years ago. Um, he was one of our friends uh, that we loved very much. It was developed by Horst from Germany in '82, and since uh, it has evolved dramatically thanks to Philip Graven. Uh, we all know Sir Philip and his contribution to wheelchair basketball and all the. IPC Sports, uh, Bernard Corbario, who was uh, president of the classifi IWF classification committee for about 12 years from France, Don Perryman, who was three times president of the classification committee, and uh, he is now the uh, uh, secretary general of the AOZ, and during his uh, presence in the AOZ, you have all to recognize that the AOZ has grown dramatically and we became one of the biggest zones in the world with the numbers of team, the level of playing, the level of classification and, and refereeing. And that's thanks to Don, of course. And as well as numerous players and coaches and classifiers, I will be very proud to say that I have been in this since 95. And me and many, many, uh, uh, many friends and I have contributed to the growth and development of this system. Yeah, जैसे आपको मालूम है, IWF की ये classification system 1982 में start हुआ था, जो host Strokendl है Germany के, और 1982 में start हुआ था, और उसके बाद उसको develop किया है Sir Philip Craven, Great Britain के, और Bernard Corbero. फ्रांस के और डॉन पेरिमेन सर ऑस्ट्रेलिया के और बहुत से प्लेयर्स कोचेस वगैरह क्लासिफायर्स ये सब उसको स्लोली स्लोली डेवलप किया है और क्लासिफिकेशन सिस्टम अभी अच्छा हो गया है ओके फॉर अ प्लेयर टू बी एलिजिबल यू शुड नो दैट द द रेगुलेशन रिक्वायर्स दैट ऑल प्लेयर्स हैव अ परमानेंट फिजिकल डिसेबिलिटी व्हिच रिड्यूसेस द फंक्शंस ऑफ द लोअर लिम्स इफ द प्लेयर डजंट हैव अम Uh, physical disability that is permanent in the lower limbs, this player is not eligible to play. Okay. Jo eligible hai, kaun kaun khel sakta hai? IWBF, International Wheelchair Basketball Federation bol, bolta hai ki jo players ko physical disability hai, jo unke niche, niche hissa, pair ho, ab unke uh, kamar ke niche wala hissa, pair mein kuch डिफेक्ट है कुछ कुछ प्रॉब्लम है अपने लोअर लिम्स के दोनों पैर में या स्पाइन में या रीढ़ की हड्डी में कुछ प्रॉब्लम है और जहां भी ये क्लियर दिखता नहीं है तो ऑब्जर्वेशन से आईडब्ल्यूएफ पता करते हैं और प्लेयर को अप्लाई करना पड़ता है उसको मिनिमल मिनिमल डिसेबिलिटी कम से कम डिसेबिलिटी बोलते हैं और उसके लिए अप्लाई करना पड़ता है Okay. Ask. Yeah, my question is, uh, the player uh, he has to, a player who is not uh, able to play running basketball is uh, like suppose his knee is uh, 
injured and he has gone through a operation and he cannot run properly so is he eligible for wheelchair basketball okay this is a complicated question and now is it it is changing due, uh, due to the uh, application of the yeah. ipc code so Correct. now yeah pavela yes absolutely adam i agree with you now it is a point for arise are you considering these type of the players that is the same question i am asking yes yeah, so, um uh, we are applying yes. the ipc code and the ipc code now um, uh, <laughs> defines defines the eligibility of the player uh, so uh, yes and no if somebody uh, has a disability that we cannot see uh, and the doctor says uh, you cannot play running basketball at a high level anymore uh, this person will have to apply for minimal disability to the iwf classification commission that will study and examine the case they will ask for a lot of papers x rays medical reports um um health uh, situation and they will get back to the federation with an answer about the eligibility of a player so it's a yes it's considerable um, maybe yes maybe no it's accepted okay question ye tha ki agar kisi ka ghutne mein problem hai ghutna ka operation hua hai aur wo able bodied running basketball theek se nahi khel sakta hai पहले आईडब्ल्यूएफए के रूल के हिसाब से अलाउड थे पर अभी इंटरनेशनल पैरामिलिट्री कमेटी और आईडब्ल्यूए दोनों अगर ऐसा कोई प्लेयर है जिसके गुटे में प्रॉब्लम है या जो अच्छी तरह एबल बॉडीड हाई लेवल बास्केटबॉल नहीं खेल सकता नहीं खेल सकता तो उसको अप्लाई वैसे प्लेयर को अप्लाई करना पड़ेगा मिनिमम डिसेबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया के लिए अप्लाई करना पड़ेगा और आईडब्ल्यू बी एफ आईपीसी उनके एक्सरेस उनके मेडिकल डॉक्यूमेंट सब देख के खुद डिसाइड कर रही है कि यस भी हो सकता है नो भी हो सकता है ओके आई हैव क्वेश्चन आई एम आस्किंग दिस सिंस लॉन्ग टू माय कोच कैन आई प्ले विच ए बास्केटबॉल बिकॉज माई मोर दीज आर लाइक आई है रिकंस्ट्रक्शन ट्वेंटी ईयर्स बैक so that knee is bad another knee is bad and i can't play uh, running basketball so can i i'm eligible to play wheelchair basketball to so my coach is saying no because the new rules uh, are not uh, okay with that so can i apply um, it, it, it's your right to apply but what will the answer be we don't know but um, uh, the um, every file of a, a minimal disability uh, case it's a uh, 200 dollars oh okay. which the player will have to pay no no why is to this they should pay if they, to, if they to, get a good con- player to consider to consider the uh, the file uh, the rwf will require 200 dollars but they can be tested in the tournament right the people can come and they can be no. tested from the classifiers no 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 no, no. the uh, there is a regulation for it um this this will come later but i'll tell you from now because you asked you have to apply several months before a tournament and with complete documentation and then it will be decided before the tournament so when you come to the tournament you are already eligible you cannot show up to a tournament and take your chances okay अभी कोच सुवर्णा मैडम पूछा था कि अगर घुटने में प्रॉब्लम है दोनों घुटने में प्रॉब्लम है और रनिंग बास्केटबॉल नहीं खेल सकता है नॉट एबल टू प्ले तो क्या हम अप्लाई कर सकते हैं हम टूर्नामेंट के लिए आ सकते हैं और वहां पे हमें हमें क्लासिफायर क्लासिफाई कर सकते हैं तो टॉपिक सर ने बोला है कि नहीं आपको कम से कम थ्री और फोर मंथस तीन या चार महीने पहले अप्लाई करना है मिनिमम डिसेबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया के लिए और 200 डॉलर 200 डॉलर फी भी है तकरीबन पंद्रह हजार रुपए और ये करने के बाद टूर्नामेंट से पहले ही आपको बोला जाएगा कि आप खेलने में एलिजिबल है यस और नो ओके 
There was I, another question. I yes, had a, yeah, yeah, stop it. Yeah, this is Charu. So uh, I was just wondering this point which we are discussing that which Suvarna raised that if a player has you know uh, injury on the on bilateral knees, so I think don't you think the main criteria here is the physical disability? So whether if that injury, whatever the knee issue is there, it leads to physical disability. then the person will be eligible so i think it's more related to permanent or a temporary temporary disability so no, i think is it that no yeah. no it's not that it's um okay um unfortunately it's 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 rpc code that we have to respect and they have um much like more severe um uh code than the one iwf had so there is a um, that's a code that should be respected and it's really a decision of medical people uh, that we have on our classification uh, commission that they will examine in respect to the ipc code they will decide if this player has is disabled enough or not to be eligible to play um, in an international tournament now the thing is and this is my advice to you in india if you include able body players in your international um, activities in your national tournament like like all developed countries this is when people who has problems playing uh, running basketball that will join and this is when you you start to discover some of them that could be really eligible Uh, so um, I think that uh, Ambarish and uh, Ashkar Ali and other classifiers, I have trained so many people in India, over 100, and some of them will, with some training later on, uh, would be able to give you a close idea about if this player could be eligible or not. So you really have to go back to your classifiers and these classifiers will be trained and they will have enough uh, information about the new code uh, as soon as we start um, spreading it um, on our, our classifiers. Okay, sir, you're saying that there is no player who can't play running basketball and they will play in a wheelchair basketball. So, we have Ambarish sir and Ashkar Ali sir. तो उनसे पहले चेक करवा लो कि आप एलिजिबल है कि नहीं यस क्वेश्चन ओके सो दिस इज द क्राइटेरिया वी हैव स्पोकन अबाउट इट सो यू हैव टू बी हैव टू बी ऑब्जेक्टिवली वेरिफेबल बाय इन्वेस्टिगेशन सच एज मेजरमेंट स्कैन एक्सरसाइज एंड एवरीथिंग Okay, so some of the criteria that we have is for the uh, for amputation of the minimal uh, required is the removal of the first tray of one one foot, like the one we see in the picture. That's until now. Uh, maybe that will change later on. It's still until under studies and investigation. Okay, so we're saying that minimum uh, disability criteria is like pair, like a photo in the slide. Mein. वो जो काला दिख रहा है वहां से अगर कट है तो फिर एम्पोटेशन है तो मिनिमल डिसेबिलिटी है दूसरा फोटो देख रहे हैं लेग लेंथ का देख रहे हैं आप फोटो डिफरेंस हो छह सेंटीमीटर सिक्स सेंटीमीटर ज्यादा आप देख रहे हैं ये सब एक्सरे में पता चल जाएगा कि लेग लेंथ में खराब है कि नहीं Okay, so um, we come to the uh, serious stuff. So determining factors of classification of a player, uh, we watch uh, mainly two things, uh, three things. Uh, first, the volume of action, I will explain what it is. The pelvic stability as well. Uh, upper limb function is considered if the player present a significant impairment in this area. If the one of the upper lim limbs has a disability and this impairment will be looked at if it is significant um, uh, significantly impairing the player from playing um, with a normal hand 
ओके अब कैसे डिसाइड करते हो क्या क्या देखते हैं क्लासिफाइंग के लिए तीन चीजें हैं एक तो वॉल्यूम ऑफ एक्शन है परिमान आप कितना कार्रवाई कर सकते हैं वॉल्यूम ऑफ एक्शन कितना कार्रवाई आप कर सकते हो दूसरा पेल्विक स्टेबिलिटी पेल्विक का मतलब श्रोणी जो आपके कमर के नीचे वाला हिस्सा है वो पेल्विक एरिया है और पेल्विक स्टेबिलिटी श्रोणी स्थिरता कितना स्थिर है आपका श्रोणी ये पेल्विक स्टेबिलिटी आप स्टेबल स्टेबल है कि नहीं उसके बाद आपके अगर नीचे वाला पैर वगैरह देखते हैं और अगर हाथ वगैरह में भी कुछ प्रॉब्लम है तो कंसिडर हो जाता है अगर ज्यादा प्रॉब्लम है तो ये ये फैक्टर्स है वॉल्यूम ऑफ एक्शन पेल्विक स्टेबिलिटी और अपर लिंग में कोई प्रॉब्लम है Okay, what is the volume of action? The definition definition is the limit to which player can move his or her trunk voluntarily in any direction with control and return to the upright position without holding on to support or in the movement. This is the definition. Okay, volume of action. What does it mean? ये जो लिमिट है जो प्लेयर अपने ट्रंक ट्रंक का मतलब धड़ ट्रंक या टॉर्सो धड़ कितना वॉलेंट्री अपने आप अपने आप कितना एक डायरेक्शन में मूव एक साइड में या एक डायरेक्शन में कितना अपने धड़ को हिला सकता है और नियंत्रण से वापस करेक्ट पोजीशन अपराइट सीधा पोजीशन में आता है कोई सपोर्ट के बिना कोई सपोर्ट के बिना सीधा आ जाता है उसको वॉल्यूम एक्शन वॉल्यूम एक्शन बोलते हैं सो इफ वी सी ए प्लेयर यूजिंग द हैंड्स फॉर सपोर्ट एंड टू हेल्प टू रिटर्न टू अप एट द पोजीशन दिस इज अ नॉट रियल नॉट अ रियल मूवमेंट इफ देयर इज एनी सपोर्ट इट्स नॉट अ रियल मूवमेंट वी हैव टू वॉच मोर एंड मेक श्योर दैट द मूवमेंट इज विद नो हेल्प एट ऑल सर बोल रहे हैं कि जब आप एक साइड से दूसरा साइड या आगे पीछे वगैरह जाते हो तो बिना व्हील या कहीं टच करके वापस अपना सीधा पोजीशन में आना चाहिए उसको वॉलेंट्री बोलते सीधा पोजीशन में आना चाहिए तो क्लासिफायर्स ये देखेंगे कि आप कुछ टच करके वापस आ रहे हैं या या बिना कहीं भी टच करके आप सीधा अपना वर्टिक सीधा पोजिशन में वापस आए कि नहीं उसको अपराइट पोजिशन बोलते हैं सीधा पोजिशन में वापस आए कि नहीं Okay, so the volume of action includes all directions, and we would like to see the player holding the ball with two hands and going in the all direction, and and we have to see them from the vertical um, uh, plane, forward plane, and sideways. Vertical is when we are looking at the player from above to look if there is a rotation of the trunk. Forward is when they are leaning to the front bending over to pick up the ball from the front sideways if they go to the right side or the left side with the ball in the hands and doing it strongly with no support sir bol rahe hain ki haath mein ball hona chahiye jab classify hota hai ball hona chahiye aur teen planes mein ek to vertical plane hai vertical plane mein aap ja sakte ho ki nahi vertical plane mein aur forward प्लेन में और फिर साइडवर्ड साइडवर्ड प्लेन में ये तीन प्लेन है वर्टिकल फॉरवर्ड और साइडवेज ये तीनों क्लासिफायर्स देखते हैं आपके हाथ में बॉल होने चाहिए आप कितना कर सकते हो सो दिस इज द वर्टिकल प्लेन वी हैव टू लुक इफ द ट्रंक कैन रोटेट टू द लेफ्ट एंड एंड द राइट लाइक दिस रोटेशन जो वर्टिकल प्लेन है पहला वाला प्लेन उसमें देखते हैं कि अपना धड़ धड़ ट्रंक ट्रंक राइट और लेफ्ट को मूव हो सकता है कि नहीं ये क्लासिफायर देखते हैं ट्रंक मूवमेंट राइट लेफ्ट वर्टिकल प्लेन में एंड लाइक दिस प्लेयर जैसा एंड दिस प्लेयर दिस इज अवोटेशन एज वन या एंड दूसरा डायरेक्शन में भी देखते हैं राइट लेफ्ट आगे पीछे भी So bending the trunk forward, reaching the hands toward the feet, and returning to the upright position without upper extremity assist. 
Once again, sir. Banding the trunk forward, you can read that, reaching the hands toward the feet and returning to the upright position without upper extremity acid, without the help of the hands. It's like when yeah, you yeah. bend forward. Yeah. Again, bend karo. Okay. Wapas out without touching anything. A wapas either upright position. Exactly. Sida position. Mein. Exactly. Okay. This is bending forward for a lower class. And this is bending forward for a higher class. Sideways is to bend the trunk the right and the left without the upper extremity assist. Yes, yeah, sideways hai, right or left me up up just slide me degree. Jani gili. Like this player leaning to the left and this player leaning to the right. A photo me dekse ek player left go tilt lean or the other player right go lean or other. Okay, now the pelvic, I will explain it without reading it, is how stable is the pelvic when you are sitting in a chair? So this is make a difference between two categories of players. The class two, five and below, they sit in a deeper uh, position because of lack of stability of the pelvis. Class three and higher can sit with on a flat seat because they can use their pelvic stability. Okay. Sir, you are saying that active pelvic stabilization is what it means? Sakriya, Shroni, Stirada. Your pelvis Sakriya, Shroni, Stirada. Your seat is flat and your pelvis Shroni hai, pelvis hai, wo sakriya prakar ke hote hai. To isko active pelvic stabilization bolte hai. Aur uska aise player jo hai, jo 3.0 wagara uske upar hote hai. Aur unka flat seat hota hai. Aap dekhenge, unke bettne ka takar flat hota hai. Koi problem nahi hai jada. So this is how an active pelvic stability player can sit, very flat seat, even leaning forward. And here, this is a 2.5 and less will sit. They will sit in a bucket, like if they are sitting in a bucket, like this player. Okay. The passive means is Nishkriya Shroni Stirada. So, usko passive or 2.5 or below. Uska seat up nadeka hai. Pishle wale slide me up nadeka. Uska seat. Uska seat thoda inclined hai. Thoda tilting hai. So, ye passive pelvic stability hai. Nishkriya Shroni Stirada. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing because I'm losing the battery of the laptop, strangely. And I'll keep on explaining stuff to you uh, without using the uh, the share screen. Okay. Okay. So the important stuff. This is how we teach coaches and referees how to classify players quickly. When you go on a on a, a camp and you have forty players. This is how you divide them. And I will ask you to do the movements, all of you. You stand up in front of your place and say, everybody put your hands up. Put your hands up, come on, everybody. Okay, now turn to the right. Turn to the left. Okay, you are not the class one. The players who cannot do this, you are a class one, go sit on the side. Okay? So a class one does not have rotation. Then... Okay. I'll translate that, sir. Yes. Jo, abhi, Dovik sir ne bola, haat upar karke, turn karo right, turn karo left, vertical, vertical plane mein, right, left, turn karo, 
और रोटेट करो जिससे होता नहीं है वो 1.0 पॉइंट जीरो प्लेयर है क्योंकि उसका ट्रंक मूवमेंट नहीं है धड़ धड़ मूवमेंट नहीं है How can I do it? We know your class one. Go sit on the side, and then I ask the players, put your hands up and go all the way down to the floor in front of you. Touch your the floor and come back. If they can do it, okay. There are three and more. If they cannot do it, they are class two. Go on the side. Okay. Ye aage touch karke. वापस आ सकता है बिना कहीं सपोर्ट के तो क्लास टू और अबाउ है तो ऐसे तकरीबन रफ क्लासिफिकेशन क्लास टू एंड अबाउ वन एंड बिलो रफ क्लासिफिकेशन आगे टच करके आ सकता है तो अब ऊपर वाला क्लासिफिकेशन में होगा इट्स नॉट रफ क्लासिफिकेशन दिस इज क्लासिफिकेशन दिस इज हाउ यू रिकॉग्नाइज क्लास वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फोर फाइव ऐसे आप रिकोगनाइज कर रहे हो बिकॉज Main difference, yeah. Main difference between class two and a three. Class three have rotation, and they can all go all the way down to the floor in front of them. And come back strongly, so class two cannot do it. So they are class two. If they do it, they are three and more. And then I will ask the players: go to the side, put the ball on the floor, and come back. If they can, they are not class three. They are class four or four five. I will ask all the one who cannot go on the side. We know they are class three. Then ask the remaining players, go to the other side, touch the floor and come back. If they can, they are four or five. If they cannot, they are class four. So, this is what I'm saying. The main difference between one and two is rotation. Two has rotation. One doesn't have rotation. Main difference between two and three is going all the way down to the floor and come back. In, in the front play, frontal plane, two cannot do it. Three can do it. The main difference between three and four is be able to go to the one side all the way down and come back. Three can only go to the frontal, not to the side. And the main difference between four and four five is four five can go to both sides, right and left. If they can, they're four five. They are not four. This okay. is. How simple it is. Okay, ये बहुत simple है. Class one और class two के difference ये है. Class one का trunk movement vertical plane में नहीं है. No active trunk movement class one. Class two है. पर आगे class two का कम है. Class three yes forward and backward. पर sideways में problem है. Class four all ठाएगा. और एक साइड से दूसरा साइड से नहीं है क्लास 4.5 पॉइंट फाइव बोथ साइड नो प्रॉब्लम ओके थैंक यू फॉर दिस माइ शो क्वेश्चन नाउ लेट मी टेल यू दिस इफ आई दिस आई वु कॉन्टेक्ट ऑन माई बोर्ड मोबाइल फोन सो यू गिव मी फाइव मिनट्स ओके टू मिनट्स टू कॉन्टेक्ट गो है Okay, you can go. You can connect, and then we will talk. No, no, go, keep going. If 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 the battery is dead, I will connect on my mobile phone. I haven't understand the classification three and going forward and come backwards. Whatever you said. Uh, captain, the, sir, the class captain, three. Sir. Yes. Sir, Captain, sir, one more time, please explain. Will we do it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, he wants to explain once more. Shall I explain once more in Hindi? I will tell him. Uh, yeah, go ahead. ओके मुकेश मुकेश जी आप ये जो क्लासिफिकेशन जर्नल है वो भी देख लो हैव अ लुक एट द क्लासिफिकेशन जर्नल पेज नंबर नाइन ठीक है आपको समझ जाएगा वो मेरे सामने है इसलिए मैं बोल रहा हूं तो क्लास वन प्लेयर है आपको तीन प्रकार के चीजें करने हैं एक तो वर्टिकल प्लेन है वर्टिकल प्लेन इस पे घूमना है एक तो आगे और पीछे आने का है एक तो साइड में जाने का है 
तो तीन चीजें करने हैं क्लास वन प्लेयर ये वर्टिकल प्लेन में लेफ्ट राइट क्लास टू प्लेयर यस क्लास टू कर सकता है पर वो आगे और पीछे उसको मुश्किल होता है क्लास थ्री आगे पीछे हो सकता है पर साइड में नहीं हो सकता है क्लास फोर एक साइड में हो या राइट साइड या लेफ्ट साइड में एक साइड में हो सकता है जो उसका आगे पीछे ठीक है उसका रोटेशन ठीक है और उसका साइड क्लास फोर का एक ही साइड में होता है जैसे अगर बाया पावर कटा है तो बाया साइड वो उसका बैलेंस चला जाता है और 4.5 ऐसे लोग हैं ऐसे प्लेयर हैं जो तो दोनों साइड में नो प्रॉब्लम दोनों साइड में नो प्रॉब्लम ट्रंक नो प्रॉब्लम फॉरवर्ड नो प्रॉब्लम समझ गया मुकेश योगी जी ओके सर थैंक यू सर पेज नंबर नाइन में दिया हुआ है क्लासिफिकेशन मैनुअल पेज नंबर नाइन देख लो ओके ओके सर थैंक यू ओके गुड सो नाउ वी गो बैक टू दाइव पॉइंट वी हैव वन एंड वन फाइव नाउ वी लुक एट द्लेयर can rotate to one side but not to the other side this is a player class 1 who have something of a two but it's not complete so it's a 1 five i'll translate that sir before i forget yes <laughs> abhi aapne one dekh liya two dekh liya three dekh liya four dekh liya aur 4.5 bhi dekh liya abhi 1.5 kon hai 1.5 jaise sir ne bola hai one aur two ke beech mein hai वन नहीं नहीं और 1.5 एक साइड में कर सकता है और टू दोनों साइड में कर सकता है तो वन और 1.5 का ये फर्क है कि वन वर्टिकल प्लेन नो बट 1.5 पॉइंट फाइव वन साइड ही कैन डू ओके ऑल ए बिट ऑफ द रोटेशन बट नॉट कंप्लीट टू बोथ साइड्स ए बिट इट्स नॉट कंप्लीट इट विल बी वन फाइव सो इट्स अ वन हैज समथिंग ऑफ अ टू but it's not complete that's a 15 now 25 yes one moment sir yeah go ahead uh, sir bol rahe hain ki jo one hai dono side mein vertical vertical but turn nahi kar sakta lekin 1.5 ya to ek side mein thoda kar sakte ya dono side mein thoda thoda kar sakte ye 1.5 1 aur 2 ke beech wala player hai wo 2 jitna nahi kar sakta par 1 se zyada kar sakta hai to wo 1.5 player hai okay now We have a two and two five. So a two five is a player who has something to form the three, three, but it's not complete. The main difference between two and three is bending forward and coming back. Now two point five can bend forward, pick up the floor for a ball from the floor, but because of weakness, they have this wavy movement like this to come back. So it's a class two who have something from three of three, but it's not completely not the same strength. So it's a two point five, not a three. Okay, two or three. Me basic fark kya hai ki forward motion two or three mohi fark hai. Three pura ja sakta hai aur aa sakta hai ball pag leke aa sakta hai par two thoda mushkil hai. So two point five kya hota hai? वो शायद जा सकता है बॉल पकड़ सकता है पर वापस आने के टाइम थोड़ा वेवी वेवी आता है ठीक से नहीं आता है तो 2.5 का क्या मतलब है टू से अच्छा और थ्री से थोड़ा बिलो है थ्री क्या कर सकता है थ्री पूरा मोमेंट है उसका ओके ओके गुड सो नाउ वी हैव थ्री एंड फोर वी हैव थ्री फाइव द मेन डिफरेंस बिटवीन थ्री एंड फोर is able to go to one side strong and come back to the upright position without help now class 3.5 can go to one side but not completely down to the floor they can go 45 degrees up to the position maybe of the waist and come back strong but if they go all the way down to the floor they become very weak so it's a three Or has something of a four, of a four, but it's not complete. It's a three point five. Okay, three player sideways movements. Jada nahi hai. But four player sideways one side ka movement hai. Three point five, three or four ke beech mein hai. 
कि वो थोड़ा फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री जा सकता है कंट्रोल करके और वापस आ सकता देखिए अगर और नीचे जाएगा तो उसका कंट्रोल नहीं है तो थ्री पॉइंट फाइव थ्री से थोड़ा अच्छा और फोर से कम ओके सो दिस इज दाफ पॉइंट एंड ऑफकोर्स फोर पॉइंट फाइव कैन गो टू दल दाइज एंड एवरीथिंग दिस इज हाउ यू कैन रिकॉग्नाइज योर प्लेयर क्लासिफिकेशन इज सिंपल एंड इट्स इजी if you understand the concept very well you can recognize all the components on the floor if you if you start to complicate it in your head or if somebody comes and teach you teach you classification in a complicated way it will become very complicated but if we look at it simply it will become simple and easy okay sir bol rahe hain classification bahut simple hai abhi aap seekh gaye तो ज्यादा कॉम्प्लिकेट मत करो वेरी सिंपल तीन मोशन है वर्टिकल फॉरवर्ड और साइडवर्ड्स तो उसके हिसाब से वन टू थ्री फोर और फोर पॉइंट फाइव वन और वन पॉइंट फाइव वन और टू के बीच में टू पॉइंट फाइव टू और थ्री के बीच में तो इट्स वेरी सिंपल बी वेरी क्लियर माइंड में क्लियर होना चाहिए अब सिंपल लगने लगा है सर हाँ जी अब सिंपल लगने लगा है सर नाउ इट्स गेटिंग क्लियर टू हिम एक्सलेंट That, that's me, and I'm a good teacher. Thank you very much. For <laughs> one question, I have. Yes, please. Uh, if someone has a problem with the forward uh, bending, but he is excellent picking the ball sideways, so that combination uh, is possible, sir. Uh, if yes, so how do we classify them? Okay, so this is uh, what we call a, a non-classic uh, um, classification. we need to look at this player on the floor if we don't look at this player we cannot define really what this classification is so there is a compensation system that we need to see what is the weakness what is the strength and and find uh, a way to give this player the best classification that they compete in okay what did ambish give give this player ambish what did you classify the player Ambush. Okay, Ambush disappeared. Sir, okay. Sir, you are pa- talking on mute, sir. Ambush, sir. sir. Okay. Yes. What did you classify the player, Ambush? The one who cannot go to the front and can go to the sides. Uh, we have to compare the player with the in the in the tournament how he is playing. Yeah. So can, so, did, uh, did you classify? Did you classify the player? I don't know who is that. I don't know her okay. name specifically. That's okay. No, no worries about it. We will look at this player when when oh. we get when we get to see the, see them play. Thank you, Abish. Okay, sir. Uh, okay, so now if there is, is there any question? Quick questions. Okay, we have still two minutes. Uh, I would like to finish on time because everybody was on time. Uh, I would like you really strongly recommend. for you to visit the iwbf website uh, iwbf.org go to downloads and download the regulations and the um, manual and the video introduction or you can watch the introduction video on youtube is very clear and very nice it's called introduction to wheelchair basketball classification system go on youtube and watch it i don't like to show videos on my presentations because this is something you can do on your own and if you have questions you can come back to uh, wbfi and they can tell me and we can discuss anything you want but roughly this is this is what coaches and uh, referees need to know uh, coaches should learn much more about the classification system because they have to classify, classify their players and watch the classification of other teams players as well okay so please visit the website and visit our um, facebook page and twitter and download the manual read it download the regulation read it and watch the youtube classification video it's very important very clear and will explain everything um, with players performing all the Uh, skills and abilities okay 
सर बोल रहे हैं कि आप YouTube में जाके इंट्रोडक्शन टू व्हील चेयर क्लासिफिकेशन वो सब मिल जाता है उधर सब कुछ है YouTube में और इंटरनेशनल व्हील चेयर बास्केटबॉल फेडरेशन का ऑफिशियल प्लेयर क्लासिफिकेशन मैनुअल वो भी है वो वो भी आप देख लो डाउनलोड करो और ये सब देखो और आप सीख सकते हैं आई हैव ए क्वेश्चन सर इन द मैनुअल इट से मैनुअल इज टू बी रेड in conjunction with the official player classification rules i could not find that official player classification rules on the website anywhere okay um somebody in uh, in wbfi should have it uh, maybe the uh, the classifiers that you have in uh, india they have it otherwise i will try to send it to you but it's there it's on the rule books um and the playing books it's it's there so you must have it somewhere No, no. I'm not talking about the rule book, sir. Rule book we have. It says player classification classification rules. Uh, yeah, so it, it, I think it's in the playing rule, isn't it? No, in the playing rules it just says 14 points. Ah, uh, okay. Um, I'll I'll try to find them and send it to you. But you you can find it somewhere. But I will make sure that it's sent to you. Right. Thank you, sir. Okay. So uh, Chandra has uh, written the uh, name of the. Uh, of the uh, youtube uh, video and this is our website okay and wbf on on um, on uh, facebook you can find everything you want on it as well and you can download from there topic yes uh, that uh, captain luis asked no that is regulation book regulation iwf official handbook is it is it that yeah it is there yes this one this one you said i th i think so yes okay okay this one i have yeah okay so iwf uh, statutes and in iwf internal regulations uh, i i'm not sure i'm british i i will have to look at it uh, and find it but um, it's not a problem we will find it somewhere look at it and if you find it that's great if not it must be somewhere else i'll i'll send you a mail yeah sure no problem okay 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 guys i'm done here uh, thank you very much uh, thank you icrc thank you tofik and uh, thank you captain lewis for this amazing translation translation job thank you um, thank you sir. anybody wants to say anything yes chandra Uh, this will help. Yes, I hope so, Chandra. You should be able to do it now. Okay. okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Taufik, for your time and for teaching us. I, sh I hope, show sure, hope sure. coaches have taken down notes and referees. It will help you all. Uh, just a small request: Can all of you please type in your full name in the chat box? Uh, we'll be issuing participation certificate so please type in your full name in the chat box before you uh, leave this will help us issue a digital certificate uh, provided by i will need to send you my my digital uh, signature as well uh, yes. lee leroy can you send me a list of participants please so i can mm -hmm. write my report to the zone so sure. uh, once we gather the attendance okay. i'll email it to you excellent excellent All right, so please do not uh, sign out without typing in your full name. Uh, it will be easy for us. Once again, thank you, Mr. Taufik, for this wonderful session. You're most welcome. Thank you so much, Mr. Taufik. I think it was a very beneficial session for the team. Thank you, President. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Sir Manu. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Taufik. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Taufik. Yeah. Ashkar is alive. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, only sir. Good time here. Yeah. Uh, Shalom. We usually happy people. We joke a lot and tell jokes. We are not so serious. So no worries. Yeah, yeah. Definitely not. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Tafik. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Topic. Thank you, Kostayo. Thank you. Thank you, Nabi, very much. Uh, we will be in contact. Certainly. Yeah. And good Thank evening to all. My next session, I think I'll be in uh, Dubai, so I'll give it from there. Excellent. Thank okay. you. Okay.
Okay. Ciao. All right. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Don't forget.